Hi, I'm John from Chatamize, and in this video, I will show you how you can create a chatbot for your website. And I will explain how you can add a chatbot to your website, send personalized messages per website page, and use live chat so you can forward a chat to a human. And to create this website chatbot, we're going to use Tidio. So you can just go to chatamize.com slash Tidio and I will also add this link in the description and here we can set up our Tidio account and they also provide a 14 days free trial so you have plenty of time to decide whether Tidio is the right fit for you so you can just go to try it out and then you can create your free account using your email, Facebook, Shopify or Wix but because I already have an account I can just click on login and then fill in the information. And now I am logged in. So then we can go to chatbots and you will automatically see that Tidio adds a first chatbot. So what we will do is we will delete this one and then we will create a new chatbot. And a chatbot in Tidio is basically one chatbot flow. So if you want to create one chatbot flow, that is equal to one chatbot in Tidio. With some other chatbot builders, you will see that one chatbot equals like thousands of amounts of chatbot flows. With Tidio, it basically means that one chatbot flow is one chatbot. So we can just click on add from scratch and then we can choose a trigger. So Tidio provides lots of triggers, but we will start simple. So we will start with the visitor clicks on the chat icon and then we will add a decision. So we can just drag that in here and then we can say, hey, how can I help you? So let's say we are a software company and we want to tell the user what our software company is about and the pricing of our software company. So then we can add two quick replies with what is software comp and pricing of software comp. So what this will do is that every time a user clicks on the chat icon on your website, it will say, hey, how can I help you? And then it will display two buttons. What is Software Comp and the pricing of Software Comp. And now we need to set two messages. So when someone clicks on what is Software Comp or on the pricing of Software Comp, a message will be sent to that user. So we can just click on the cross and then we can drag the send a chat message. And what we can do is here is click on this one and drag it to that. And then you can also select what is software comp or the pricing of software comp. So then Tidio knows what the response is to each of these answers. So we will select what is software comp. And then we can say software comp is a software company based in the US. Just really simple. And then we can also add another message for the pricing. And then we'll say the pricing of software comp starts at $90, $19 per month. So that will work. So we can just click on save. We will provide a name to our chatbot. So simple chatbot. And I want to increase my sales and we'll click on save. And we will activate it. We will not start when the operators are offline. We also want to start it when the operators are online. And that's working. So the next thing that we need to do is put the chatbot on our website. So when you go to settings, you need to go to live chat and you need to go to appearance. And here you can set up a lot of things for your web widget. So you can set up the background color, you can set it to blue, you can set the online status, the offline status, you can say chat with us, we can enable the widget sounds. And I will just leave this all default except for the pre-chat survey you need to set it to disable so you can set it to enable I won't do that uh, I would disable it and then click on save and then if you go to installation you will get the code so we need to add some code to our website so I just click on the JavaScript and then copy this code and because I know that most of you are using WordPress I will show how you can add this to your WordPress website so I've just set up a really simple WordPress website and then I will go to the dashboard and then I will go to plugins and click on add new and then I will search for 
install headers and footers and then click on install now and click on activate and we will use this plugin to put up the code onto your website and if you're not familiar with adding code to your website I highly recommend to hire a developer for this because they can just do this in a couple of minutes uh, but I will show you how you can do it yourself but again if you're not familiar and not comfortable with doing this I would recommend to hire a developer so then you can just go to settings go to insert headers and footers and then under scripts and header you can just paste the code there and then click on save so what this will do is that it will add a chatbot to your website and I will just open my website in a new tab so to show you that this is working so right bottom you will see chat with us and when we click on it it will say hey how can I help you and then when you click on what is software comp it will say software comp is a software company based in the US so that is working but we can also personalize these messages per website page so I always look at a website and then I look at the highest converting pages and an example of a high converting page is the pricing page so let's go to the pricing page so this is a page where you want to convert a lead to a customer and one way to convert it is by using a chat widget and to send personalized messages with them and we can set it up in Tidio so if we go back to Tidio then we click on chatbots and then we can click on add from scratch and what we then will do is select the trigger visitor opens a specific page which is in our case the pricing page then we can click on it and then we'll say the address contains slash pricing and we can also add a limitation for example we can only send it once per 24 hours or only once for a unique visitor or unlimited so then we can send it every time for every visitor so that's the one I'm going to select and then we can add an action so the action would be a decision so again a quick reply in which we ask do you want more information about our pricing and then we have yes sure or no so if someone selects yes sure we can also send a chat message so we can add this yes sure and then we can say okay our pricing starts at $19 but we also provide a 14 day free trial and we can also send another chat message if the user says no then we say okay no worries so we can also save this one pricing page we'll name it and we want to increase the sales and click on save put this up and activate the chatbot so now when we go to the pricing page it will automatically say do you want more information about our pricing and when we then click on yes sure it automatically says okay our pricing starts at $19 but we also provide a 14 day free trial so by using these personalized messages we can convert a lead to a customer and increase the sales of our chatbot but this is only for a specific page we can even add more conditions to make it even more personalized and take the personalization to the next level so if we go back to Tidio we also have more conditions so you can just click on condition and we can also condition for example on whether they are a returning visitor or on the day of the week or on the status of the chat so these are all conditions that you can add to your chatbot flow to even create more personalized experiences for example we can add returning visitor and you can create a message for when the user is not a returning visitor and you can create a message for when the user is a returning visitor because when it is a returning visitor you probably have a higher chance of converting that lead to a customer than with a first time visitor I'm not going to show you how to do that but I just want to tell you that that is even possible the last thing I want to show you is how we can trigger a live chat so if we just click on save and then we go to the simple chatbot and click on edit 
we will add another decision. So what we can do is add the quick reply and say, talk to a human. And what we then do is add another action, which will be a chat message, which will say, we will forward you to a human. And then we can add that here. And what we then can do is notify an operator. So an operator is a live chat agent of your company. And then we can add the notify operators and add that to this message. So when you click on it, then you can type something in. So this is the message for the operators, like the user has a question. And then we can click on save. So we still need to do one thing before we're going to test this out. So we need to click on edit. And then we need to click on the trigger. So the trigger is first that clicks on the chat icon, but this will only send once per 24 hours by default. And now we want to set it to unlimited. So every time we click on the chat icon, it will send this message. So we can now click on save. And then if we reload the home page and we click on the chat icon, it will say, hi, how can I help you? What is software comp, pricing of software comp, but also talk to a human. So when you click on that, we will forward you to a human. And this automatically on the side of the admin, so on the side of Tidio, you will automatically get a notification. Then you can click on that conversation and type something back. So we can type, what is your question? And then, this will automatically show here. So we, then we can say, what is your pricing, for example? And then that will automatically go back to Tidio. So that's how you can add a chatbot to your website, send personalized messages with your chatbot per website page, and even use live chat so you can forward the chat to a human. If you have any questions on how you can add a chatbot to your website, please leave a comment below and I will reply as soon as possible. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.